In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a class from an object that you create on the stage. So I've drawn a simple little cog here. I'm going to select the whole thing. And oh, actually, there's a little piece I want to get rid of there. Okay, so we select the cog. We're going to convert this into a movie clip symbol. We can do this either through the modify menu, convert to symbol. We can use F8 as the shortcut key, or we can even right click on the object itself and down at the bottom is a, a link for converting into symbol. Now any of those three ways that you do it you will get this window. Sometimes it appears like this, sometimes the advanced options appear. We are going to give this thing a name. I'm going to call it COG. Simple enough name. Inside here I'm going to say export for action script right down here it copies this label that we gave it up here down here I'm going to say that it's going to be called COG with a capital C because the naming convention for all classes is that you start with a capital letter I'm going to put my registration mark right in the middle of the object and click OK it tells me that it can't find the action script file for this class which is fine because we haven't created it yet I'll click OK there we are. In the library, there is the label that we gave it, COG. Over here with the capital C in the AS linkage column, that is the actual class name. Now, sometimes you'll create movie clips and you'll decide later on that you want to give this an actual class that will control it. If you forget to give it that linkage at the very beginning, we can come down here and go to Properties. So if you right-click on the symbol, go to properties it brings this window back up so if it came up like this you gave it a name you clicked OK you can always go back go to properties bring this window up again and inside the advanced section click on export for action script there it is there is the class cog okay again it can't find that file so we need to create this file if we right click and click edit class this is now available because we have given it a class name flash will offer to build it for us and there it is there is the basic structure for the class our package tag wrapping everything the public class definition wrapping around all of this and there's our constructor function the constructor function has the name cog the class has the name cog and as soon as we save the file so control s to save it this will give me, bring this onto the screen here, there we are, cog.as. It automatically types that name in for us. So there we have it, cog.as. If you'll notice on my FLA after the changes were made, a little asterisk appeared next to the name. That's an indicator that there's something not saved. So there we are. Now that is saved as well. I can delete now that cog off the stage. My stage is completely blank but I haven't deleted it from the library. In the library we have this object that we can now create multiple copies of. All three of these are copies of the cog object. All three of them will have their own copy of the cog.as file attached to them. In the properties panel we can actually give these guys each their own name. So we can call this one John Call this one Paul. Call this one Ringo. This is the instance name for each of these objects. So they're all copies of the cog class, but they all have their own name. So in our ActionScript code, we can actually refer to each of these by their own name. 